Hello, Mark Kellner here from St. Germain, Wisconsin. Standing in front of my Smoky Lake 2x5 hybrid hobby pan. Uh, finally got enough sap to actually get this thing in use for real this time. Uh, been boiling about four hours now. Uh, about 80 gallons through it roughly, I think the last time I checked, I'm not sure. Uh, this thing is uh, kicking butt. Uh, I'm really surprised at how well it's doing. Uh, the sap flowing in the float box is uh, doing really well. You can see the, the flow on that and how much is being evaporated currently at this time. Uh, really have a good color difference between each section of the pans. Um, on this side of the pan where the sap's flowing in, you can see, actually see the, the color difference of the sap flowing in through versus the other side where it's a little darker and then up in the front the syrup pans there. It's uh, it's really getting dark and it's got the small bubbles to it. On the, the side of the pan where the uh, temperature gauge is here, you can see we're sitting on the bottom. Look, four degrees above boiling as of right now. Um, this thing is uh, above, been performing above my expectations, but it's, it's been doing really well. Um, because I have the blower fan on this unit, I'll give everyone a helpful tip on loading wood that I found out works well for me. Is uh, I don't shut the fan off when I go and add my wood. What I do is I open up the ashtray because there's no ashes hardly down here. Go open up the ashtray, then you can go ahead and open up the door, add your wood to it. That way you don't get any smoke or ash coming out up towards you. Close that, close the ashtray door, and then resume boiling without having to uh, mess with shutting the blower off every single time.